Johnny, it's been a whirlwind year. We've finished up with an All Ireland final appearance in Crow Park. You got to be delighted with uh, with what's ahead of you for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, any year that finishes with a trip to Crow Park is going to be a good one. So it's been a it's been a year of development, a year of progression. Ultimately, we've found ourselves in a really good place come come the the championship, and um, we would love to see it out now when we, when we get to Crow Park. In terms of, I suppose, how the season as a whole has gone, disappointing in terms of how the league campaign finished up with uh, not quite managing to get across the line for promotion. That doesn't seem to have set you back, though. You've really attacked this championship with gusto. Yeah, ultimately, you've got to ask your, yourself the question: Do you want the manner of the defeat in the semi-final of the league? Do you want that to impact you going forward? Do you want that to be the story of your season, or? You know, do you want to avoid being a victim and do you want to take it into your own hands and go and uh, attack the championship? And ultimately, you know, we agreed in the aftermath of that semi-final that, that we wanted to do that. We wanted to go and win a Connacht and we wanted to go and win an All-Ireland. But that's going to come down to not wanting it, but doing what it takes. And the girls have been amazing. In terms of the application of this group of players, obviously you've known them a while now. It's uh, a few seasons in the, the, the role. Uh, how have this group of players evolved over that, that period? Well, I think the the results and the manner of the performances speak for themselves. Uh, it does take a while for your methods and your message to take root. And this year we have driven it on to new heights. You know, last year was a year of, of getting that message in and replicating the 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 understanding of how we want them to play and how we want them to think in certain scenarios. And ultimately... Um, we developed over the course of last year really, really well. You know, we look back to the the championship defeat in the, in the quarter final, and we would we would look at that as a game where we were right in, and there was small margins, kick of the ball in it against the team that had been in the previous two finals. So we gained belief from that, but we also knew that there was um, there was room for further development and improvement, and and we have um, we have attacked that this year, and we've got the the benefit of that now. In terms of, I suppose, the hoodoo that Wexford had from last year's quarter-final, beating them in the semi-final this year, does that give you a little bit of a kick when you went to a face a team you've already beaten in this year's championship? Yeah, you know, it, it shows large the, the progression from last year. It shows that we've played that team last year who beat us by a goal in the uh, quarter-final and we have beaten them this time in the semi-final. You know, there, there's your development. And now, as you say, coming into a final against a team that we've already beaten, you can't help but be confident. We're certainly not overconfident. We know that Tyrone were an absolutely huge challenge the first time round, and they're likely to be even a bigger challenge this time. But we're going to be a challenge, and we're going to be a hard team for them to beat, and we have to take confidence in that. How do you keep this group of players' feet on the ground for the next few days? There's only one of them has played at this stage before. It's, it's new ground for most of these players. Do they need to be kind of kept in, in that kind of mindset of... of the, the, what's ahead of them in terms of the environment, the sound, the noise, the experience of an all Ireland final day? Um, yeah, I think everybody will benefit from that. But uh, at the same time, these girls have been conditioned to know that we've reset after every competition and we've attacked that competition. And, you know, after the, the National League, we knew that Connacht is a, it's a short championship and we've got two matches. And if we win both matches, we'll be Connacht championship uh, winners. And we've done that. And then we reset for the All-Ireland. We knew we had five more uh, challenges in front of us. And by taking one at a time, as cliche as that is, uh, we haven't looked past each match as it's come. And this is just the latest match. And yes, it's a final. Yes, it's a Crook Park. But ultimately, we have to go out and get the performance that will get us the uh, maximise our chance of getting the result that we want. Of course, uh, your squad, no shortage of big game players. The likes of Miranda Vanny playing in an FAI Cup final over the last two seasons. Leo Fox involved with um, O'Connor Cup finals with DCU. Alva Clancy's been away with Ireland at World University Games and soccer as well. So these girls well used to the big occasion. Is that a huge asset to you when you come into these games? Yeah, of course. And, you know, we've got the two Van and Moore girls that played in Crook Park earlier this year and Charlie that's played in Crook Park previous to that. And, and that, they're all benefits because they provide the girls with experience that they can call upon and, and share with others. And, and that's really important. And you know, we're coming up against the Toronto team that have played Crow Park 
in the National League this year. So they, they've got experience too. But um, you know, I'm confident in the gear's ability and mental strength, and using the experiences that they've had individually and collectively to go and ensure that they're not overawed by the the surroundings and, and, and the occasion and to keep their feet on the ground. I think that the gears are doing that anyway, but this is the one that really matters. So they're going to be focused and um, hopefully it leads to the performance that we're after. In terms of the, I suppose, the expectations going into this Toronto have just secured promotion to Division 1 for next year. You're going to be playing your trade again in Division 4. How much does that gap matter on a one-off game like this? It doesn't. It doesn't. Um, it didn't matter in the first match when we beat them. It doesn't matter in this match either. Um, you know, there, there may be certain relevance if you were coming out of a Division 4 campaign and playing against a team that were coming out of a Division 1 campaign. They might be battle-hardened by then or we might be used to playing against a lesser opposition and that might show itself in a one-off game. But we're both after coming out of an intermediate championship campaign or uh, coming to the, the conclusion of it. So we're playing against teams of similar level and similar teams in, in as much as we've both played Wicklow. So uh, I don't see an advantage in that whatsoever. Um, and certainly mentally speaking, we're, we're not looking at ourselves as a Division 4 team or them as a Division 1 team. We're looking at both uh, us and them as intermediate finalists and, and it's up to us to get the performance on the day. We all see big support for Leitrim when it comes to the big game in Crow Park. Uh, we saw it with the men earlier in the year. What's the hope in terms of the, the general population in Leitrim coming and getting behind these girls and supporting it? Yeah, to keep doing what they've been doing. You know, the, the back in... And all the home matches has been phenomenal. You know, we think back to even that Toronto match, it was amazing. And it's no coincidence that we have come through all our home fixtures unbeaten this year. And um, it's true that unbelievable support. And then down in Parnell Park, you know, they travelled in numbers. They, they certainly outnumbered the Wexford fans who probably had a shorter journey. And uh, when it comes down to it, uh, you know, uh, nobody knows better than me that there'll be plenty of their own fans there and they'll make plenty of noise, that, you know, a proud and passionate support. But so are Leitrim and um, I'm sure that the green and gold will be there in their numbers and make plenty of noise for us. And, and that will be the expectation and that will be the hope. I'm sure when you took the job, this was part of the, the plan and the vis visualisation of leading the team out in Crow Park. In, in terms of the plan, how does that visualisation end up? Does it end up at the start of the game or have you gone as far as imagining lifting that trophy as well in Jones Road? Not so much lifting the trophy but doing everything that will lead to the trophy being lifted. You know, um, uh, any visualisation that I've had is very grounded in, in the phases of play and, and the implementation of the vision of the game that we have, we have got and in many ways the girls are the embodiment of that now and th there's always improvements to be made and there's always wee areas you see that that don't marry up with that vision but um, but they're getting better and better at it and they've been phenomenal this year in terms of um, creating what we want them to the way we want them to play so in terms of visualization yeah we're looking towards just that performance the performance that will see them at their potent best and at the same time uh, out of possession that we're making it really hard for the opposition and if they play along those lines which i'm confident that they will then we're going to give this one hell of a rattle if you had to predict a score any thoughts i wouldn't there's too many variables um the the most you're going to get out of me is that i i think it could be a high scoring game and the reason i say that is because there's lots of space in Croke Park and you've got for me the two best forward lines in the uh, intermediate football facing off against each other going by certainly the the array of, of different scorers on each team and, and the fact that uh, the, we've both kicked our way here to the final uh, that's what makes me say that and I think that it could be a, an open game where you see those uh, those players making their mark in terms of what that looks like on the scoreboard I'm hopeful that there'll be uh, more uh, numbers on the green and gold side than the red and white side. Well, listen, the very, very best of luck to you in two weeks' time in Crow Park. Thanks a million. Thank you.